pleasant morning to you all students i welcome you all for the online class session hope you all were watching the videos and writing the notes that were sent to you through the teachers uh, properly please attend your class well and do the works that were given to you regularly okay so as we start our online class yesterday we started a theorem pythagoras theorem right now and in pythagoras theorem we saw two example problem also continuation only today also we are going to see okay so what is your pythagoras theorem so in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of other two sides that is only we have seen right so the triangle must be a right angle triangle that's the must condition so continuation only today we are going to see okay so today you are going to see the question example 4.22 okay example 4.22 I'll read the question. Please, while you are watching the video and attending the Zoom class, be with your book and watch it. Okay. So, let's uh, start the class. So, let me read the question. What length of ladder is needed to reach the height of 7 feet along the wall when the base of the ladder is 4 feet from the wall? Round up your answer to the next 10th place. So, what is your question is, what length of the ladder? So, you know ladder. We are going to find the length of the ladder is needed to reach the height of 7 feet along the wall. So, you know how they will uh, make the position of the ladder to slanting position, right? So, there is a wall. Okay, this is a wall and the wall is how much feet down? 7 feet. Okay, the wall is 7 feet long. When the base of the ladder is 4 feet from the wall. So, this is your base and the base is 4 feet from the wall. So, where they will keep the ladder? So, this is our, so let the position be x feet and name it as A, B and C. So, definitely what is angle B is? So, there is a wall which is 7 feet and the base of the feet for skipping the slant uh, ladder is 4 feet. You are going to find the height of the ladder. So, how we can? So, in this triangle A, B, C. Comma. Angle B is equal to how much degree? Yeah. 90. So, what theorem? Pythagoras theorem. What is our Pythagoras theorem? Is square of hypotenuse. So, angles opposite side is the hypotenuse. Right? So, how we can AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Just substitute. What is AB? 7 square plus BC. 4 square. What is 7 square is equal to? 49 plus 4 square which is equal to 65. So, AC square. So, AC is equal to yeah, square root of 60. We know the perfect square of 64. What is perfect square of 64 is 8. So, definitely by seeing this, we can say this is not a perfect square. But approximate, they asked to write the approximate values. Right? So, approximately 8 square is equal to 64. We need 65. So, definitely it would be a point value. Right, my a point value. So it is between eight and eight point one. Here we can't able to write eight as your perfect answer. 
so approximately round off your answer to the next 10th place only there so this is equal to okay so what is the height of the ladder is 8.1 hope you understand it just draw the picture for your question and definitely it might be a right angle triangle use the pythagoras theorem we'll get the answer so what is the height of the ladder here height of the ladder is equal to 8.1 feet okay let's move on to our next question so what is your question is so example 4.2 Example 4.23. Okay, let me read the question. An aeroplane after takeoff from an air for airport and flies due north at the speed of 1000 km per hour. At the same time, another aeroplane take off from the same airport and flies due to west at the speed of 1200 km per hour. How far apart will be the two planes after one and a half hour? So two planes are moving from the same airport and it is moving in different different direction. Hope you all know the directions that is. Right ma? So how we can? North, South, West and East. Right. So now an aeroplane is moving. First where it is moving. Aeroplane take off from an airport and flies due to North. So North means so from an airport it is moving to North. And at the speed of how much the speed is? Yes, yeah, speed is equal to thousand kilometer per hour now from same airport another aeroplane is moving and it is moving to the west so from same airport it is moving to west at the speed of thousand two hundred kilometer per hour now you have to find out how far apart will be the two planes so the two planes, how far it would be apart after, after how much, uh, how far it would be apart after time taken, time is equal to one and a half hour. So, one and a half means three by two. So, given speed and the time and they ask you to how far, how far means the distance they have asked, right ma? So, we know that the distance is equal to, what is the formula for distance is equal to, yeah, speed into time, right, distance is equal to speed into time. So, find out, so aeroplane first, okay, first aeroplane, so, so distance find out, so speed is how much, yeah, thousand into time taken 3 by 2 so cancel 1 2 is 2 which is equal to 1500 so for first distance is equal to 1500 now for the second aeroplane aeroplane second so what is the speed is yeah 1200 into time Cancel. 1, 2 is. So, which is equal to? 1,800 km. So, second one. Distance is equal to? Now, we need this distance. Right, ma? So, name it as A, B and C. What is the angle of B is? Yeah, 90 degrees. So, definitely it is a right angle triangle. So, right angle triangle means what's the formula? Ah, Pythagoras theorem. What is our Pythagoras theorem? So here in triangle A, B and C, angle B is equal to how much degree? 90 degree. So what is the hypotenuse here? Yeah. A, C square is equal to in a right angle triangle, square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of other two sides. So A, C square is equal to 
a b square plus b c substitute the values let's see what we are getting okay so what is the distance of a b 1500 the whole square plus 1800 the whole square. so 1500 means 15 into 100 sorry 1500 and 1800 means 18 into 100 so in both what is common yeah 100 square is common remaining 15 square plus 18 square right so 100 square is equal to 15 square what is 15 square is yeah 225 plus 18 square 324 add it so 100 square into 549 so 549 which number square we need right so find the factor 549 okay so what table uh, third table so, 1, 3 is 3, 2 balance, 8, 3 is 24, and 3, 3 is 9. So, next, again third table, 6, 3 is 18, 1, 3 is 3. So, 61 is not a perfect square, it is a prime number, right? Ma? So, how did we get, which is equal to uh, 100 square into 3 square into 61 that is a c square so what is a c is equal to yeah 100 into 3 into root of 61 so 300 root 61 and the unit is kilo So now both the planes are how much meter, how much kilometer it would be apart. Yeah, 300 into root 61 kilometer apart. Okay, so this is your two example question. With this, we are going to see today. Okay, we are going to see today two more exercise questions also. Very simple. From your exercise 4.3. Okay. First problem and the second problem we will see. Both are very simple questions only. Let us see both the questions. Okay. Let me read the question. A man goes 18 meter due east and then 24 meter due north. Find the distance of his current position from the starting point. So a man goes 18 meter to east. Right ma. So a man is there. So let it be A. Now he is going to east direction. East direction. How much? 18 meter. From there east and then 24 meter to north. From there he is going 24 meter to north. Find the distance of his current position. So wherever he stopped let it be E. Current position be C. Find the distance of his current position from the starting point. So, starting point is A, right? Ma? So, definitely what is the angle of B? 90 degrees. So, now this is also a right angle triangle. So, use the Pythagoras theorem. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, uh, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Substitute. What is AB? 18 square plus 24 square, uh, 18 square, 324 plus 570, 624 square. So, if we add means 900. So, AC square, you can take it as X also. Okay. So, AC is equal to, yeah, square root of 900, which is equal to 30. And the unit is? So, wherever he start and now wherever he is standing, the distance between starting and his current position is how much meter? 30 meters. So, a man is there. He is moving to east. From there he is moving to north. We are finding the distance using Pythagoras theorem. Right. So, now let us see the second question also. 
So in your second question, a picture has been given. So A street, B street and C street. So A street 2 miles, B street 1.5 miles and here Sarah's house is there. James. Let's read the question. There are two paths that one can choose to go from Sarah's to James. So two paths are there. Directly they can come or else through B, A street they can. So two ways are there. One way to take C street and the other way requires to take B street and then A street. So you have to find out how much shorter is the direct path along the C street. So you have to find whether this direct path or this A B street path which part shorter and how much shorter you have to find out. So, definitely by looking at this picture, what is this angle is? Yeah, 90 degrees. So, A street and B street we know, right, ma, values. Let's find C street. So, it is a right angle triangle. So, by Vittagara's theorem, let it be X miles. So, by Vittagara's theorem, what do you get? Uh, X square is equal to uh, 1.5 the whole square plus 2 square. So what is 1.5? Yeah, 2.25 plus which is equal to 2.25 plus 4 is equal to yeah, 6.25 x square. So x is equal to uh, square root of 6.25 which is equal to 2.5 so, direct path is equal to how much? 2.5. Now, if they come across to B and A means, yeah, 1.5 plus 2 miles they have to walk, right? Ma? So, through A and through A and B street means totally. A and B street totally. Yeah, 1.5 plus 2. Uh, 1.5 plus 2 which is equal to yeah, 3.5. So through AB street 3.5 directly they come means how much? 2.5. So which is the shortest? Direct and how much it is shortest? So 3.5. Minus 2.5 which is equal to 1 minus it is shortest. Hope you just understand what I have been teach today. So all the four problems are based on Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem's problems will be very easy. If you identify the right angle triangle well means it would be very simple to find out. Okay. So learn this questions, watch this, we'll discuss if you have any doubt on the Zoom class. Please take care of yourself, be smart, be healthy and be safe. Catch you all on the next class. Thank you all.